if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 24 of the My Player series here on FIFA 16. We start with a game against Palermo, although we are still looking to move away from the club this window if possible. If there is a vote in the comment section down below, or in the description, sorry, down below, please make sure you watch the full video first before voting, because obviously there may be some points that we raise when we get that offer that uh, will help decide your decision or help sway your decision one particular way or another. But before we get there, we have this final friendly against Palermo, although we are in second place in the group. So should we get a draw or better, we will be through to the knockout rounds. But hopefully we'll get a uh, transfer decision to you for today's episode at some point. Palermo can play in white rather than pink. That will just be easier for kick class. And uh, hopefully we can have a good game. Hopefully we can get a decent transfer offer as well. Uh, obviously, I don't know whether I'm going to get one at this point in the recording because we're recording live as always with my player. But if you enjoy the episode, then obviously, as always, make sure you drop the video a like rating and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we're getting close to 120,000 subs now be great if we could hit that over the next couple of weeks or so but let's jump straight into this game against Palermo see if we can get another victory big ball over to Rispoli on this right hand side decent first touch but solid tackle by Reach could be a throw in to Palermo after 15 minutes no real chances on goal as of yet and the Palermo being very patient in their build-up, although they are playing some nice football when they do try and come forward. Pizzini going on a run of his own here, not needing the overlap of the defender. Gets in a good cross as well. Mayas had to come and punch that clear as there was a man at that near post. Whoa, Jesus wept. That is probably going to be a red card. That was such a strong challenge from behind. It is a straight red. No surprises there whatsoever. Andrea Rispoli came from nowhere and destroyed the defender that was trying to clear the ball. I want to see a replay of that. That was a horrible challenge. Absolutely disgusting challenge from behind. The ball is nowhere near. In fact, he's probably tackled the wrong man. The man that he does tackle does a front flip. And he gets himself sent off after 18 minutes. Well, that hopefully will liven things up then for us in the next 70 minutes or so as we try and look for a goal to go in front. Here's McKeonock down the right-hand side, showing good strength to solve off the defender. They are down to 10 men, as we've seen, but still trying to come forward, Palomo. Bennett's going to fire that through to Kike, who gives it to me. Uh, I'll actually give it back to Kike rather than going inside, or outside, sorry. Uh, but let's actually bring that across there to the man in the middle as well. Here's Morris pushing forward. We have our first chance on goal in this move. Here's Baptiste down the right-hand side. Cross might be coming. Not yet. Drilled it into Adoma. Adoma to uh, Bennett. I've called for the ball. We're not going to get it. We may get a free kick there and have done. We may get to take this ourselves. We are the best free kick taker in the side right now. And we are going to get to take it ourselves. Well then, 31 yards out. Chance for a shot on goal. I've not got the best of free kick accuracy. And as you can tell, even with barely any power, that's not the best of free kicks. We still need a lot of training in that regard. Nice ball into Bolzoni. Pizzini is on the run down the right-hand side. He's got a man arriving in the middle, but there's not much support here for him. McKeonok, well, that's a nice that's a nice change of feet. Whips a good ball in, but Ayala heads it clear. But McKeonok will receive it again. Is he going to try and go back down the line for another cross? He looks massive. I'm not sure how tall he is, but he looks like a really big guy. He's going to get it again back from uh, the man in the middle. Here's Helemark. I'll try and close him down. I missed the tackle. Bozzoni to Helemark again, and that was not too far wide. Good shot from the... Uh, I think he's Dutch, isn't he? Helemark. He used to be at um, PSV, I think. But a really good strike, hits the support post behind the goal. And for now, we stay at 0-0. Play this down the line for Kike to chase onto and try and get back towards the box myself. Kike's been forced wide, but he may still get a cross in. It's wound up for one. One's come in, but it's just over my head. But it's been punched as far as Baptiste. Here's Bennett. May pass to me. Has done. I've got a bit of space. We'll try a quick early shot on the left foot. Oh, took a deflection, and it's going to go out for a corner. That could have been, or the intention was, to pull it back across goal, but it was well blocked by uh, the Palermo man. We'll see if we can create something from this corner. I've gone up for the header, but Rigoni has beaten me to it. Drops to Baptiste. Here's Morris. I'm going to drop deep and see if we can pick up the ball. Still George Friend in the box. Good cross, but well held by Alastra, the goalkeeper. First chance of the second half comes and goes. And for now, we stay goalless, which should be enough to see us through to the semi-final of this pre-season competition. Morris. Across to Friend. Could have another cross coming in soon. Does really well to hold off two defenders. I'll call for the pass from Morris, and it's terrible. 
Djajevic, tackled by Ayala. We could be in for a counter-attack here. A call for the ball from Ayala. Just about managed to stay onside. We're racing in. I may actually have to turn inside this defender here to get my shot off. And it's deflected off Golden Eager. Good block, but here's Kike. Kike squeezes it. Oh, flashes across the face of goal. I think it's gone out for a corner. Must have taken a deflection off another defender, but... What a block by Golden Eagle in front of his defender. We brought on Reese Williams for George Friend. That's a deep corner headed away by Lazan. It's going to go out for a throw in. Wow, we are getting closer to a goal here, but one hasn't quite come just yet. Kike to Baptiste. A call for a through ball. Alex Baptiste plays me through. We'll give it to Kike. Kike may go across again, and he has done. Here's Bennett. Space on the far side for Mustafa Cariol. Taking it very, very wide, though. Not really too sure why he's done that. The cross comes in. Everybody misses it, and he hits the post and goes out for a goal kick. Wowzers. I don't know why Mustafa Cariol pushed wide there. He could have taken it on towards goal and had a shot himself. Never mind. As a Mato Jajalo. Yayalo, I don't know how to pronounce that at all, but uh, Palermo have made a substitution, and with 11 minutes still to go, we remain at 0 0. Game over, it's finished at 0 0, unfortunately. We did have the better of the chances, but Palermo just defended very well. Apparently, I had five shots. I don't remember having five shots, but we've gone up to 78 overall, I just saw. So that plus one of dribbling we got earlier on in the game has been enough to step us up another level, which is brilliant. That will probably put our value up as well, though. Whether that will actually change the sort of level of players that are, or teams, sorry, that are coming in for us in this transfer window, I'm not sure. But this semi-final coming up against Sassuolo in a few days' time. I'm just going to go and do some training off camera, and then if we have a transfer offer, I'll cut back to you. No transfer offer as of yet, so we're going to jump straight into this game then against Sassuolo, and we'll see if we can get ourselves through another round of the pre-season tournament. Here's Domenico Berardi on the right-hand side, out wide to Gazzola. Might go back to Berardi here. He's obviously Sassuolo's best player, so uh, we'll need to keep him quiet in this one. Gazzola squares it into the middle to Chipso. Just try and block off this passing avenue here, although he's been able to find uh, a man on the far side, and Sansone still keeps it ahead of uh, Insue. Where are they going here? Sassuolo are a capable side, and I'll, uh, uh, you know... Comfortable on the ball, as you've seen, but Stuani is going to help that on the way to Insue, who's pushed forward from right back. He's going to play in Adomo, who's come forward from right mid. Jimmy Ryan is a new player at the club. We've just signed him from Fleetwood, apparently. So uh, he's come in and making his debut in this game, and he's going to get it out wide to Adoma. Adoma going on a nice run. Can he perhaps find me here on the edge of the box? He has. We'll take it under control. We'll have this shot, and it's a very good save by Pagolo. There's the first chance of the game on the half hour. Top save as well, because that was headed into the far corner. We'll run in towards the mix in the middle, and that's going back to kind of where we were. And Araldo uh, heads that one off the back of his head out for another corner. Around about the penalty spot again. Not sure whether we'll get the chance to uh, score from this one as well. Decent corner, though. Flicked on by... Oh, the man at the front post. It's going to go out for another corner. Stuani got the header on that one. We're getting chance after chance here in this uh, particular highlight, but nothing looks like it's going to find its way past. It might drop here. I've got my head to it, I think, but I've been crunched as I've done so, and Domenico Berardi is going to come away with it. And unfortunately, despite numerous opportunities there, we haven't been able to find a goal. Gazzola, Chibsa, into Kurtic, cross the corner to Falzinelli. Has a good shot that's well plucked out in the air by Mejas. Decent goalkeeping there to get two hands on that and hold on to it as well because it was well struck and headed towards that far top corner. But just before half time now, five minutes to go. And as things stand, we're at 0 0. And of course, as this is now a knockout round, not a group stage game, that means we'll go to extra time if it's level after the 90. Nice ball by Ryan up to a doma. Good strength as well to turn it around the corner to Ensue into Jimmy Ryan. I'll off myself in the middle. I'm not going to get it from him, but. We'll get it from him at the second attempt, and we'll give this to Stuani. We'll push on ourselves. Stuani tries to squeeze it back to me. We're in the box with this shot, our 45th shot on target. I'm going to go and celebrate with Stuani. I'm going to try and celebrate with Stuani at least. Come here, bro. Where are you going? He's, he's off. He's had enough. He's gone. He doesn't want to celebrate with me. That's 1-0. Really, really nice footwork from uh, Stuani to squeeze that through the gap and uh, really pleased, actually, with that left-footed shot. We had one in the previous uh, game that was well blocked from a left-footed similar position, but that one flies into the top corner. Definitely a very good goal. We'll take that. Middlesbrough 1, Sassuolo 0, and we might be going through to the final of this pre-season tournament. Corner with only a handful of moments left. We are, well, well really far deep, actually, for some reason. Not really too sure why we were nowhere near the action, but Reese Williams has headed that back to me. I'll quickly get it inside towards Ledbetter, who helps it on its way to Adam Clayton. 
who's maybe going to play it in there. He hasn't. He's holding on to the ball nicely. We'll get it here. We'll give it to Kike. Kike with the early shot and that needed saving from Pagolo. That was headed towards the bottom corner. Not the best of, or not the most opportune of moments, but he hits it well enough. And it was going in. Needed the save. we deep again. I might call for this and see if they'll kick it to me all the way over here. He has tried to, but it won't, re won't reach me. Vesalco, Berardi's going to get it away. Made the challenge and referee's going to give a free kick. Are you sure, ref? I'm pretty sure that I made contact there. Final whistle goes. We are going to get that 1-0 victory thanks to our goal on the hour mark. We're through to the final of the pre-season invitational tournament. Very pleased to have done so. So we've gone up a rating in today's episode, getting more uh, accomplishments here for completing our 40th match of our career. We're still 78 rated though at present. So we'll take that into uh, into the next game. Although hopefully between now and the next game, we'll get a transfer offer for us that I can give you guys a vote on. Is there going to be an email waiting for me? Taking its time to load the screen. Come on, boys, hurry up. We want to find out if someone wants to bid on me. So far, no interest. Although if I go to the My Accent scene, you can see interest being shown by Leon at West Brom and Napoli. Well, we played for Leon and Napoli last season in my player. And still no bids. Okay, well, we'll come back in the next episode on uh, on what is today. This is Tuesday's video. So we'll come back on Thursday. We'll play the final against AZ Altmar in this preseason tournament, which is quite close, actually, to the start of the championship season, which is Norwich on the 6th. So we'll play AZ Altmar on Thursday. Hopefully have ourselves a transfer offer to show you before the game against Norwich on the Friday. But I can't I, I can't promise anything because I was hoping we were going to get one in the week from the Palermo game, but we haven't. Never mind. We'll come back next time. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check the channel page for anything you may have missed over the past few days, and I'll see you next time.